Today, I want to get into Jungkook being forced to talk about his feelings recently about BTS and his fears. I wanted to get into a rumor Mnet clip of him talking about dating someone and what that is about. And then I want to talk about some of the hate Jungkook is getting recently. So hey dumplings, it's Dave Desai. Hater or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Grab your dumpling, a tea spilling mug merch, and let's go. Jungkook recently has gotten hate for doing his laundry. Let's talk about it. So recently, Jungkook has become the ambassador for Calvin Klein. This was a amazing and I think the fandom absolutely had a heart attack when they realized he was going to be on the ads and half naked doing the ads. But of course when getting into the conversation of why Jungkook agreed to do Calvin Klein I can definitely bet it's not simply because that check looked really good as I'm sure there's tons of brands reaching out to have him as an ambassador and he has many options and maybe even others that would match what Calvin Klein is paying or more. However Calvin Klein is the most true to Jungkook as armies have even seen him many times in the past wearing the underwear. Jungkook came on a live stream recently just to talk to ARMY and have fun. Initially he joined the stream with V and J-Hope and we saw J-Hope with his new haircut. And then Jungkook did another stream later where he was alone in his house. He had his galaxy lights on and it was definitely a mood. Jungkook was just sitting there listening to music and folding his laundry. Of course given that Jungkook naturally has brought a lot of Calvin Klein underwear in the past and now definitely has even more as I assume Calvin Klein would send him a boatload more. I would imagine his laundry would be entirely Calvin Klein. I think it was Justin Bieber who said he was sent so much underwear by Calvin Klein that he could basically just wear one pair once and then just throw it out. So I could only imagine how much Jungkook received. So naturally Jungkook ended up showing the pair of underwear he wears and some of the different colors. He showed a purple pair of Calvin Klein undies. I'm sure those pairs are sold out now. But this surprisingly caused some backlash. I'm sure the main armies just thought it was funny but of course he is a k-pop idol so stuff like underwear is not allowed. Some blinks even came to say that if Jenny had done this with the underwear she was wearing there there would be a huge backlash and hate thrown towards her saying there's double standards and Jungkook isn't receiving as much as they believe Jenny would. And then others come to the defense of Jungkook to say that you should not crucify him for literally just doing laundry. And I don't like this argument. Argument. Every time I read arguments fighting back, they're just not good arguments and I think people almost completely miss the point. The point isn't that Jungkook should not get shamed for doing laundry. The point is that Jungkook should not get shamed for having underwear. It, what is the difference between having underwear and then people knowing that you have underwear? It's not like he's wearing it and it's not like it's underwear that is particularly sexy. Do you know what I mean? The underwear would look sexy on a person but the underwear isn't made for sex. It's underwear that even children can wear. If Jenny is showing a pair of female boxers and not lingerie, then I don't see an issue with that either. And we as the fandom need to normalize that. People keep trying to argue within the bounds of what they believe is acceptable for the K-pop audience instead of arguing what is believed to be acceptable by the human race. Overall, I think most people just found it to be super funny and cute and I hope he doesn't get more hate because he will likely do more underwear stuff in the future given his position as the ambassador. But going back to the previous stream where we see J-Hope V and Jungkook together, people were extremely relieved to see the boys together and having a good time. As some of you already know, there's tons of rumors that the boys secretly hate each other. And the rumors come from silly things like in a caught off guard moment, one member will glance at the other member and that glance looks mean so they think they're giving the side eye. When in reality, sometimes your face just makes faces when you don't realize. I have a serious RBF, so I make what people would consider consider rude faces all the time when I'm really not thinking about anything. But I wanted to add more to the conversation and talk about how Jungkook specifically does not hate any of the members. In fact, during the 2018 MAMA Awards, BTS talked more in depth and heavily about disbanding. They didn't exactly explain why other than them feeling like they have burnt out and didn't know what to do. A little backstory on this, this was around the time the boys probably felt like it was time to enlist and they didn't know what they wanted to do. They also probably felt like a lot of the fun concepts they wanted to do had been done already and they need to figure out what is going to be the plan going forward. This is what burnout is. There's a sense of not wanting to do it anymore because you don't know what to do. It comes from doing the same thing over and over again and feeling like the results you get are not worth your while. There probably was also a lot of pressure for BTS members to globalize and to make music that would grow to the western audience even though they probably didn't want to do that. So there was a lot there. Now back to the 2000s 
2018 Mama, BTS talked about disbanding and Jungkook actually expressed that he was scared and his biggest fear is disbanding. This is definitely something that I imagine was very hard for him to talk about. Maybe he felt forced to talk about given the situation of the team and also given that he didn't want people to think there's any issues with the group. Yet people still think that. It's comments like this that make me realize the members do not hate each other and actually really want to continue to be with each other. And they don't even hate a single other member. There's other rumors of the members dating and then breaking it off and then dating another member and thus there's drama in the group which is so clearly not the case. That drama doesn't exist. If this were the case I think the members would be trying very hard to disband and so they don't have to deal with the drama. But that's not what they want. The whole idea of the members having drama is completely fan made up and yet people are literally sending death threats over it. I don't understand how there's so many people almost every day who are so mentally unwell that they feel like they need to do this in order to live on the internet and then many others jump on board because they feel the same. It's one thing if these forums have like 10 people on it but it sometimes has like tens of thousands of people which is crazy to me. There recently was a rumor that came out and exploded because people thought it was real. Let me give some context here and then talk about the viral video. Back in October of 2018, Mnet released an interview with Jungkook and I think the other members too. But this video is just Jungkook. It's posted on their official account and this was a little before the globalization of K-pop so Mnet didn't put any subs on the videos. So only people who knew Korean were going to be able to understand what was said. Recently a clip came out where someone translated allegedly what was said and put in the captions that Jungkook was talking about his love and how his parents wanted him to find love. And Jungkook allegedly confessed that he realized he did not need a girl but that there were people in BTS that he loved. The rumors of this translated and what it meant went viral and most people went on to say that Jungkook was either talking about only needing BTS members and not needing a significant other and others were saying that this was confirmation that he was dating another BTS member. However, a lot of people failed to realize that the translation itself needed to be looked at. Finally, after a little bit, the official translation did come out from that Mnet video that was posted and the bit where it was believed Jungkook talked about dating and meeting BTS, it actually translates Jungkook feeling like there's a lot of pressure to live up to the name of BTS. So feeling like he has to do more to prove that BTS deserves to be the global superstar that they have eventually turned into, which obviously is a very different thing to say. Idols heavily avoid dating that especially when they're not asked, they are not going to talk about their feelings with dating. What their parents expect when they'll get married, none of that. And typically with Korean media and Korean talk shows, they usually won't ask because they know it will result in a scandal for the artist. So the fact that Jungkook would even say anything like this would show that it's possibly not real. And a lot of these things are just taken as fact and then some of the people in the fandom just move on and then years later they bring up this thing that they remember as fact when in an argument but can't actually link back to it because they don't know where it was. And then it goes viral again on social media but this time it was fake information and then fake information interpreted weirdly and then it was fake information with bad interpretation with a game of telephone. So it gets so bad. And of course then a situation that was likely meant to be a joke by the original poster or nothing serious ends up something that the fandom just ultimately believes without any proof. An example of this is that HYBE or Big Hit staff need to all be married before HYBE will hire them. Although not something they couldn't execute privately but definitely not publicly. They can't ask for your marital status and hire you based on that. I'm pretty sure that falls under some sort of discrimination. So if you work in HR please leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out my Patreon for more videos linked down below. Thanks for this lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.